It is in the nature of the body to heal. And it's in the nature of the body politic, the, the collective body to heal. Healing happens when underlying conditions rise to the surface. Like in Chinese medicine, it's understood that when you get a rash, then you're almost, you're almost cured because it's coming out to the skin level. So we could look actually at the intense division that is apparent today as a healing crisis. It's not like these divisions appeared out of nowhere, but they were lodged really deep so that they weren't as visible. So in other words, like the instruments of division are magnetized to the deeper, more subtle divisions that seek expression. I suppose like you and I have some kind of grudge against each other and we're not even conscious of it. Well, our souls would be like, oh, okay, I'll give you something to fight about. And something will come up and this disunity, this conflict will rise to the surface so that we can face it. Otherwise, we would never face it. COVID is, is, is showing us where we were headed and where, where we, in a sense, where we were. It's, it's giving us an opportunity. It doesn't, not a certainty, but an opportunity to heal as a society. Even though it looks like we're farther away from healing than ever. But what happens when everybody is exhausted from the fight? And all of a sudden, the things that we were fighting about just don't seem that important anymore. I mean, haven't you experienced that with a, with a partner? You know, it's not like one side capitulates to the other. If, they, if there's apology, usually both sides find something to apologize about. But sometimes no one bothers to apologize about anything. It just the storm blows over. And, and without even saying it, you both are like, yeah, you know, that wasn't actually what were we fighting about? You know, like, that could happen. And I want to invoke the letting go that is necessary for that to happen. Because you're going to have to let go of being vindicated, maybe. Being apologized to punishing the bad guys in the story. And I'm not saying that, that people who have caused harm and betrayed trust should remain in positions of trust. But if healing is contingent on everybody acknowledging that I'm right, then healing is never going to happen. There's always a letting go in the, in the healing process.